Hello and welcome to this Innova System snippet video with me Adam Rose. In this video we're going to show how to create a spring with a variable pitch. In a previous video I showed how to create a basic spring. You'll occasionally find you want to create more complexity when it comes to springs and helical shapes. So in this video we're going to have a look at how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is just to open up a brand new part document within SolidWorks. I'm going to create a new sketch and this is going to define the diameter of the spring that I'm creating. Okay, so once I've drawn this first part out, I can then go up to my insert menu down to where it says curves and select helix spiral. This allows me to insert a helix within the design based upon the circle that I've already drawn. And I can do it with a constant pitch or with a variable pitch. Now for this video I'm going to use the variable pitch option and then I can input the pitch and the revolutions into the box settings. We also need to bear in mind the start angle as well. I'm going to put the start angle at zero and that will mean that it will nicely intersect with one of these sketch planes that I've already got in my design. So I'm going to start by just placing some values in here. The first value is the starting pitch for this helix. I'm then going to define how many revolutions I want at one millimeter. I'm then going to have a transition from one millimeter up to six millimeters. And I'm going to do that up to the fifth revolution. Revolution is an accumulative value, so it gets added on each time. The next item is just going to take me up to the 20th revolution. And it's easier to see if we view it from the side. But you can see the transition areas that we're going between. I'm then going to go back down to one millimeter. And that's going to take me to the 25th revolution. And then I'm going to stay at one millimeter for one revolution. And you see if I zoom out and drag these boxes out of the way, you'll be able to see the areas of the design and the transitions that are going between. So if you were to almost draw a line across these areas, you can see in certain areas where the pitch in this design is changing from one millimeter to six millimeters at each end, and the areas where it is constant. So once I've drawn this item out, I hit the tick, and it then creates my helix. I can then use this helix to create the next part of the design, which is going to be the spring. What I want to do now is to draw out the profile of that spring. So I'm drawing out the section of it and I'm going to draw that at one end of my helix. So I'm drawing it down at this corner. I'm going to draw out a small circle and I'm just going to measure it out to one millimeter. This item I'm then going to intersect it with the helix by using the Pierce relationship. I select the point at the center and then the helix to join them together. What I can then do is go to the Sweet Boss Base tool and I can use my profile sketch and the path that I've created to then make my spring. So much like the other video you can see a way in which you can actually construct a spring within SolidWorks. This one a bit more complex to set up it will give you a result which can be more varied, either when you're working within the pitch or the revolutions or even the diameter. Thanks very much for watching.